Hey, Miss Awad, how are you? Hey, Mr. Baldwin, good. Look, so, you know, last year when we were going to go on our field trip to Linnea Woods and we couldn't because it was flooded. That's this, right. This is something that people who live around here, live around the Displains River, are pretty familiar with. We flooding. know all about it. A lot yeah. of water and not as much space. Yeah, but I don't think we understand a lot about how it happens and why it happens and what's being done in society to kind of protect us from the damage. And kind of what's being done in society that's making it worse, too. There you go. Yeah. All right. So take a look at a couple of learning targets here and uh, come back to them after the video and we'll talk about a few things related to floods and flood plains. All right, so the first part we're going to talk about, again, we should be familiar with this because we live we in a flood plain. We live on one. Um, basically, it's just a wide, really flat patch of land on either side of the river that basically gets eroded away over time because of flooding. Mm -hmm. um, so we live in one here and I'm not sure how far it extends from Des Plaines or from Park Ridge. Well, it extends a different width at different points along mm, the channel, yeah. right? But there are a lot of people that live really close to the river, and they're definitely within that narrow flood zone mm -hmm. where it floods often, and then some of us who live a few miles away still could be affected by flooding. Um, and one of the things that ends up happening, it's sometimes a good thing depending on how you look at it, is when it floods, you've got all that sediment in the, or the sediments in the load that it's carrying. Mm -hmm. And when it settles, it actually deposits a lot of that material. So it can actually be pretty decent for agriculture. It's not great for like having a basement though. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, so you can see in the little diagram on the top left here, you see the picture of the floodplain. It's kind of bordered by two higher areas of hilly land. You see the main channel with some of the other features there, like some erosional features, the Oxbow Lake, the meanders, and then some of the depositional features of the point bar and some other things associated with it. So let's go on and look at the next slide. Okay, so one of my favorite words in like all of science is this Yazoo tributary. Uh, such a cool thing. Do you want to explain what it is, Ms. Safai? Okay, a Yazoo tributary is a smaller channel mm -hmm. that flows parallel to the main larger channel mm -hmm. on the floodplain of the larger stream. Okay. Okay, so you've got a little river flowing on the floodplain of a little of a bigger river. Yeah, and if you look in this picture down in the bottom right, uh, we've got this smaller stream that comes by, and it doesn't get to the main stream because there's a little bit of a levee, kind of like a higher elevation land right alongside the river. Mm -hmm. And over time, if there's more floods, it'll break into that at some point. But they can extend uh, parallel for the river for quite a ways. They can. Okay. So here's an example. You can see the flood stage of the river, um, and you can see the outline even though the rest of the floodplain is inundated with water. So that's that natural levee that mm -hmm. forms on both sides of the riverbanks. Sometimes they're natural levees. They're also man-made levees, mm -hmm. right? In a lot of cases, they'll take the natural levees and build them up even higher so they can try to protect some of the land on that floodplain. So the, the levee is just an area of raised land that runs parallel to the main channel of the river, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it does help protect from flood stage. Yeah, and like we were saying before, this is another place where sediment's being deposited once the water starts to settle. So mm -hmm. we're dropping a lot of the uh, sediment from higher upstream. Okay. And this is just like those levees you were talking about before. This one looks to me like a pretty man-made levee. Mm -hmm. Um, and basically we've got water that's in the stream on the left, and then you can see how much further down below the land goes. So actually that uh, earthen dam or that levee that they've made there uh, is holding back a lot of water mm -hmm. there. Yep. And this is really a dominant feature if you go out by the Mississippi River. You will see levees. If you even go by the Illinois River, you'll see levees. So when you go down to Starved Rock, take a look around along the sides of the rivers and look for those levees. They're there. Okay, I think that's our last slide. Real quick one, easy right. today. Jump back to your class website, take the quiz, and we'll see you in class. See you guys. Bye.